if you have a high interest in making a flatbread like this, which is pliable, flavorful, and delicious, come on in. We're making them right now. Hi, Grandma Roseanne. We're going to make a flatbread because I love flatbread. I love it to roll it up in like a little bit of a sandwich. I love it with um, in place of toast in the mornings. I love it any, any which way because it's so delicious. So in here, I have 280 grams of flour if you are measuring. If not, it's two cups of flour. I have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. one tablespoon of honey, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of minced garlic, and I have a third of a cup of cheddar cheese. You know this is gonna be delicious. Okay, we want to mix that up really well. I need to get my fingers in there because my cheese was cold and it clumped up. Now I would always, always put thinly sliced uh, scallions in here, green onions, but I went to my refrigerator, I don't have any. I went to my garden, I don't have any that are ready. So, we're not having any because it's like stupid early in the morning right now and I'm, I don't know that there's even a store open. Okay. Now make a little bit of a well inside, just a little hole in there. And I have warm water. Typically I would just mix it in and just kind of work with it until it was the right consistency. But I know you guys like measurements, so I'm going to start with a cup and we'll see how much I actually use. it just fine yeah one cup is perfect <clears throat> what you're wanting to do is you're wanting for it to come away from the side of the bowl and you want it to be kind of a shaggy um, dough just like this <laughs> it smells really good right now <laughs> All right now we just want to just form it a little bit to get everything out of the bowl And on a very lightly floured countertop, we want to knead this just for a few minutes. If you're not accustomed to kneading, what you do is you take the palm of your hand, you roll your dough over and you press it out. Turn it, roll it over, press it out, just like that. The counter becomes a little sticky Go ahead and add some flour. You want to do this maybe three or four minutes. And what's nice is that this is a no yeast dough, which I really kind of like. It's funny, but yeast seems to scare a lot of you. And it shouldn't, it's pretty easy to work with. I have a lot of videos out showing you how to work with yeast and making amazing, amazing breads. You will start feeling, I'm probably three minutes in, no, probably two minutes in, and I'm already feeling the texture of the dough change. All right, now my dough is very, very, very smooth. And so now I will put it back into the bowl. I'm going to just spritz it a little bit with olive oil. I just don't want it to dry out. Cover it, and we're going to let it rest for 30 minutes. We're developing gluten. Okay, our dough has rested. Our dough has rested, so it's time for us to go to the next step. I'm going to kind of make it into a little bit of a log. Oh, this dough is nice. Okay, I cut them into six balls, and now I need my heating element. Now we are just going to roll it out. 
I find it easier if I can put it into a little bit of a ball first. And then just start rolling. It's a very nice dough. Always marveled at people that can roll these out perfectly round. I can't do it. I've been places where they have the Hispanic women doing the tortillas and you're watching them and oh my goodness. Talk about feeling like a failure. And we have our first one done and it's beautiful. Well, we're done. We made our flatbread. We have a whole bunch of them. I've got six of them right here and they're, they're wonderful. Look at, they're so pliable and they're flavorful and they're delicious, just like I promised they would be. So I'm just going to take a little chunk. Perfect for human consumption. So go for it. You can make them. Recipe will be below. All the ingredients are there. Super fast, super easy. Remember to subscribe. Hit the like button and the bell and come back whenever you feel like doing something adventurous. Bye.